this is me, Ava, and I'm going to present plants and trees. So plants start from tiny trees, no wait, plants start from tiny seeds, but they can grow to change our lives. We should start with the seed. The seed skin is called a seed coat, while inside the seed is a baby plant or an embryo. After you put the seed in and water the soil, the seed would absorb the nourishment and provide it to the embryo. Enzymes activate and the embryo begins to grow. Its first sign of growth is a tiny root, which then becomes a small root system. The system grabs more nourishment. Soon, a shoot pops out where it should be, up in the direction of, of the sky. Now, soon, the shoot will rise through the ground while the sea coat would burst and fall to the ground as the root system grows big and strong. Now, you have a seedling, not, not a seed, with little leaves starting photosynthesis. How does a plant make its food? Photosynthesis. Photo means light, and synthesis means put together. So photosynthesis means the process of making plant food with light. The plant itself needs three ingredients to perform photosynthesis. Two of them, sunlight and carbon dioxide, enter through the stomata inside the leaves. Inside the stomata, there are chloroplasts that contain chlorophyll, the reason you see green leaves. The third ingredient, water, now gets in through the roots. Six molecules worth of carbon dioxide and the water mix, and with the help of sunlight and chlorophyll, create glucose, food, and a byproduct, oxygen. Glucose is the plant's food, as I said earlier, and oxygen now leads through the stomata. Trees are also young, old oxygen creators. They provide this life-dependent gas and are indeed the lungs of the earth. Here's another interesting aspect. They require carbon dioxide. Their old hard trunks also create a vast system full of birds, insects, and caterpillars. Leaves host more. This ecosystem is found everywhere around the world, except Antarctica, on and, and especially in forests. Tree avenues, as in sidewalks, parks, and any sideway, are very precious, so please do not cut them. They really enhance the landscape, too. So trees can help in disasters. One example of this is the floods. Trees can stop floods by, t by take, using their roots to absorb tons of the flood water, making the whole experience less dangerous. Also, their power to breathe carbon dioxide makes them completely able to help against climate change, global warming, and literally everything that heats up the earth. So, and, and the El, and the La, El Nina and El Nino and La Nina disasters. So please do not cut trees because they made this world alive and without them, it would be in a dead or lifeless universe because there aren't any aliens. I'm finished. <laughs>